Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 28th of march first question is india has successfully tested its first ever anti satellite missile capability under which of the following missions right answer is mission shakti so recently drdo that is defense research and development organization has successfully conducted its first ever anti satellite missile test mission shakti with this india has become the part of elite group of four countries including us russia and china who had such capabilities if we talk about drdo it is defense research and development organization it is under ministry of defense presently mr g satish reddy is the chairman of drdo drdo was also in news as recently drdo was also in news as isro will launch electronic intelligence satellite amisat for drdo apart from that the medical laboratory of drdo inmas has recently developed a range of combat casualty drugs inmas stands for institute of nuclear medicine and allied sciences now these combat casualty drugs can extend the golden hour time period now what exactly is golden hour golden hour is the first hour after the injury when the chances of survival are maximum so these combat casualty drugs can extend the chances of survival apart from that drdo was also in news as drdo chief mr g satish reddy has been given missile systems award by american institute of aeronautics and astronautics apart from that drdo was given exhibitor of year award at 106th indian science congress the 106th indian science congress held in lovely professional university in punjab and the theme of event was future india science and technology next is the researchers of which iit have developed artificial intelligence based disease detector right answer is iit delhi so researchers at iit delhi have designed an artificial intelligence based detector to detect diseases If we talk about few other IITs which were in news recently recently ESPN Crick Info has partnered with IIT Madras to launch SuperStats it is a artificial intelligence tool to analyze cricket statistics apart from that IIT Roorkee has signed a pact with ISRO to set up space technology cell on the other hand IIT Kharagpur has signed a memorandum of understanding with CDAC that is center for development of advanced computing to set up india's first 1.3 petaflop high performance computing facility on the other hand iit ropad was in news as it has developed android app named roshni to help visually impaired people to recognize indian currency next is on which date the 2019 world theater day is observed right answer is 27th of march So 27th of March is observed as World Theater Day. If we talk about few important days of fourth week of March, 21st of March is World Poetry Day, while 21st of March is also celebrated as International Day of Forest. And the theme of this year International Day of Forest was Forest and Education. Apart from that, 22nd of March is World Water Day and 23rd of March is World Meteorological Day. and the theme of this year world meteorological day was the sun the earth and the weather on the other hand 24th of march is observed as world tuberculosis day and the theme of this year world tb day is its time if we talk about tb it is tuberculosis and it is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria so it is a bacterial disease next is grapes 3 experiment which is in news recently is located in which of the following sites of india right answer is ut grapes that is gamma ray astronomy pev energies phase 3 is located at ut in tamil nadu and it is designed to study cosmic rays it is a collaboration of indian tata institute of fundamental research and japanese osaka city university and it is designed to study cosmic rays it is in ut in tamil nadu if we talk about tamil nadu the capital of tamil nadu is chennai if we talk about tamil nadu administration 
Mr. Banwari Lal Purohit is the governor of Tamil Nadu, while Mr. E. Palni Swami is the chief minister. Recently, Erod Turmeric from Tamil Nadu was given GI tag. Apart from that, Tamil Nadu was also in news as it was declared the best state overall for its active participation in Swast Bharat Yatra. Apart from that, recently Mr. G. Gukes has become the second youngest Grand Master in world and youngest Indian. Mr. D. Gukes is also from Tamil Nadu. And Ukraine's Sergei Kazanin is the youngest ever Grand Master. And Indian Mr. D. Gukes is the second youngest. Apart from that, recently Niti Aayog released SDG India Index. As per that index, Himachal Pradesh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu are the top performing states while Assam, Bihar and Uttar Pradesh are the worst performing states. Next is the world's largest e-waste recycling hub has opened in which of the following cities? Right answer is Dubai. So the world's largest e-waste recycling facility has recently opened at Dubai Industrial Park in UAE. If we talk about UAE, recently the government of UAE launched Lose to Win program to help overweight employers to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Apart from that, UAE and Saudi Arabia also launched a common digital currency named Abair. UAE was also in news as recently it hosted Special Olympics World Summer Games 2019. If we talk about geographical location of UAE, it is a Middle East country and the capital of UAE is Abu Dhabi. UAE was also in news as recently 46th session of Organization of Islamic Cooperation as recently the 46th meeting of Foreign Ministers of Organization of Islamic Cooperation held in Abu Dhabi in UAE. The headquarter of OIC is in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia and India was invited for this 46th session. Ms. Susma Savraj was the guest of honor and this is first time that a leader of non-Muslim country has been invited to OIC conference. Now, it should be kept in mind that India is not a member of OIC. Apart from that, UAE was also in news as it has declared 2019 as year of tolerance. On the other hand, recently the Abu Dhabi Judicial Department has decided to include Hindi as third official language in the courts. Earlier, Arabic and English were the official languages in the courts. Next is, the researchers of which IIT has analyzed that urban areas are cooler than non-urban areas during heat waves. Right answer is IIT Gandhinagar. So recently, the researchers of IIT Gandhinagar has conducted a study and in that study, they found that urban areas are cooler than non-urban areas during heat waves. If we talk about Gandhinagar, it is in Gujarat and recently, Gujarat government has formed a special board for the transgender community to provide social security benefits to them. Apart from that, the 13th Conference of Parties of CMS, that means Convention on Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals, will also be in Gujarat in Gandhinagar in 2020. Recently, it was in news as its official mascot has been announced and Great Indian Bustard will be the mascot for this event and it has been given the name GB. Apart from that, recently Prime Minister Mr. Modi also launched Pradhan Mantri Sram Yogi Mandhan scheme in Vastral in Gujarat. Pradhan Mantri Sram Yogi Mandhan scheme is a pension scheme for unorganized workers. There was one more scheme which was announced during interim budget. It was PM Kisan scheme that is Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi Yojana. And recently, it was launched by Prime Minister from Gorakhpur in Uttar Pradesh. Next is Ashita, who passed away recently, was the well-known writer of which language? Right answer is Malayalam. So, she was a Malayalam writer and she recently passed away. If we talk about Malayalam, it is a classical language. It was given the status of classical language in 2013. Presently, six languages are given status of classical language. These are Tamil, Sanskrit, Kannad, Telugu, Malayalam and Odia. If we talk about languages, 8th schedule of constitution is associated with languages. Initially, there were 14 languages. These were Assamese, Bengali, 
गुजराती हिंदी कन्नड़ा कश्मीरी मलयालम मराठी ओडिया पंजाबी संस्कृत तमिल तेलुगु एंड उर्दू एंड आफ्टर दैट थ्रू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट सिंधी वाज एडेड इन टू दिस एंड लेटर ऑन थ्रू सेवेंटी फर्स्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट कोंकणी मणिपुरी एंड नेपाली वर एडेड एंड फॉर द थ्रू नाइन्टी सेकेंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट बोडो डोगरी सेंथली एंड मैथली वर एडेड नेक्स्ट इज मांकेडिंग समटाइम्स सीन इन न्यूज इज एसोसिएटेड टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्पोर्ट्स राइट आंसर इज क्रिकेट मांकेडिंग इज अ मैथड ऑफ रन आउट वेर ए बोलर डिसमिस ए नॉन स्ट्राइकर बिफोर बोलिंग इन केस द बैट्समैन इज आउट ऑफ द क्रीज दो इट इज लीगली परमिशेबल एज पर द रूल्स हाउ एवर इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अगेंस्ट द स्पिरिट ऑफ द गेम रिसेंटली इट वॉज ए न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ आई पी एल मैच इफ वी टॉक अबाउट क्रिकेट रिसेंटली मिस्टर सुरेश रैना हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट बैट्समैन इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ आई पी एल टू स्कोर फाइव थाउजेंड रन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिसेंटली सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज अपॉइंटेड मिस्टर पी एस नरसिम्हा एज द मीडिएटर फॉर रिजोल्विंग डिस्प्यूट रिलेटेड टू क्रिकेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑन द अदर हैंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑल्सो अपॉइंटेड मिस्टर डी के जैन एज ओम्बर्समैन फॉर बी सी सी आई अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिसेंटली मिस्टर मनु साहनी हैज बीन नेम्ड एज न्यू आई सी 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 ई ओ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आई सी सी इट इज इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट काउंसिल द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ आई सी सी इज इन दुबई इन यू ए एंड प्रेजेंटली मिस्टर शशांक मनोहर इज द चेयरमैन वाइल मिस्टर डेविड रिचर्डसन इज द सीई ओ द न्यू सी ई ओ मिस्टर मनु साहनी विल टेक चार्ज फ्रॉम जुलाई ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट इज विच टेक्नोलॉजी जॉइंट हैज लॉन्च इंडिया स्पेसिफिक टूल्स टू बूस्ट इलेक्शन इंगेजमेंट राइट आंसर इज फेसबुक सो फेसबुक हैज लॉन्च टू इंडिया स्पेसिफिक टूल्स टू बूस्ट सिविक इंगेजमेंट दीज आर कैंडिडेट कनेक्ट एंड शेयर यू वोट If we talk about elections recently Twitter has also launched hashtag power of 18 campaign for better civic engagement for the 2019 general elections apart from that recently Gauri Sindhe has been appointed as election ambassador from Maharashtra and Gauri Sindhe is first transgender to be appointed as election ambassador on the other hand recently Assam has launched i help initiative to promote digital electoral literacy if we talk about election commission it is a constitutional body presently mr sunil aroda is the chief election commissioner while mr susil chandra and mr ashok lavasa are the election commissioners mr susil chandra is the former cbdt chairman the new cbdt chairman is mr pramod chandra modi cbdt stands for central board of direct taxes apart from that recently a book was also in news it is Every vote counts the story of India's elections and the book is authored by former chief election commissioner Mr Navin Chawla Next is Vinjamuri Ansuya Devi who passed away recently was the renowned folk artist of which state If we talk about few other personalities who passed away recently recently Hakusha passed away Hakusha was a renowned artist known for his themes of tribal and folk art Apart from that recently Mr Daryl De Monte also passed away he was a senior journalist and environmental activist on the other hand recently professor Walt Smith passed away he popularized the term global warming apart from him recently Mr Jerry Merriman passed away he was the co-inventor of pocket calculator and recently Dr Jehros Alfrov also passed away he was a Russian physicist and a Nobel prize laureate on the other hand Recently Miss Vinod Kashyap passed away she was associated with All India Radio and Mr Chinmay Roy also passed away he was a veteran Bengali actor thank you and that's all for the day